Hey everyone, how's it going? Right, so today I'm going to be doing something a little different. And when I say a little different, I mean not really that different. But basically, what I'm going to be doing today, because I only picked up one book this week, Hawkland number two, as you've seen by the title, um, I'm just going to do like a longer kind of more in-depth review on this book, Hawkman number two, and hopefully when I get like my next big haul, I'll catch up on the videos then. But just a single review on Hawkman number two, and this is probably going to be a short video because there's not a lot to say about this. Um, so, the last issue I really enjoyed, and I kind of enjoyed it more after I did the, um, after I did the review of it, and I, I probably would have, um, put it a bit higher if I'd have left it a day, to like, think more about the the issue um this this is better than the first issue um which is which is a good thing because the first issue was great and this is better but we we basically have at the start of the book we have Hawkman um, Carter Hall um, talking about his past lives and the past lives he's lived and then it cuts to present day where he's in a museum and he's looking at this um, he's looking at this um, Horus statue and he he has a theory that it's not actually Horus he thinks it's something else and something else entirely because we keep on getting this brought up of this winged figure that's that Hawkman's supposed to fight but whilst whilst Hawkman's in this um museum he starts feeling kind of nauseous and then the the armor and the the costume kind of like comes over him like by it on its own and we get this awesome splash page of Hawkman as he's been transported to one of his past lives like his his first life from what what we're led to believe And um, the Carter Hall from um, the Carter Hall from um, this era believes that Hawkman is the winged figure that he is supposed to fight this winged like demon. Um, so they have quite a long fight with each other um it lasts quite a while about half of the book and then when hawkman when hawkman like when hawkman says um calmoran um they stop fighting and this past version of carter hall like knows that if if he knows the word Kalmaran, then he must be there to fight the winged demon instead of like be the wind demon. And then he gets transported back to the museum of present day, and and 
and flies off and decides, right, I don't know what any of this stuff is, but I've found a map and the map goes to Dinosaur Island, which I guess is kind of like the Savage Land. It's described exactly as the Savage Land. Um, I'm kind of learning, learning with this book. I don't. Now, Hawkman's a character that I've never read before. I've never like seen a comic book with Hawkman in. I I know him. I know him from the Justice League um, TV show, but I'm I know more about Hawk Girl than Hawkman. But I picked this up because of Brian Hitch's art, and the the story is equally as good as the art. The art is amazing. Uh, there's a lot of really good splash pages. The action feels very kinetic. Everything flows well. Um, like a lot of things that I see I see recently in in Marvel comic books that. A lot of the artists draw faces very similarly. Um, Brian Hitch does the exact opposite. Everyone's very distinct. Um, even the two Carter Halls, they don't look similar at all, which is a good thing. Um, but yeah, I really enjoyed this. Um, it's it's kind of a mystery, like Carter Hall, Hawkman trying to figure out what his past lives were. What, what they have been and what he's supposed to fight what this winged creature that everyone's talking about is is supposed to be um really enjoyed hawkman number two um reckon it probably would have been my pick of the week if if i had done if i'd gotten all of the books that i i was supposed to get this week would have probably been my pick of the week because what else came out this week? Spider Man number one, which has been getting mixed reviews, and Punisher, which I haven't heard anything about. But really enjoyed this. More people should be talking about Hawkman because it's so good. Um, what's his name? Robert Venditti is doing an amazing job on this. Um, I haven't read anything else by him because this is kind of my first foray into DC proper. I I, I tried out um, Tom King's Batman run. I got about seven issues into it and I, I dropped it because it was getting into that weird like crossover stuff. I was like, you need to be reading Batman, but you also need to be reading Batwoman and Nightwing. <laughs> you get the next part of the story in Nightwing issue 3. Uh, <laughs> I'm picking up Batman. I only want to read Batman. And I hope that the same thing can't be said about this. I hope this doesn't start going into Titans and, and stuff. Because Hawkman needs to be a, a solo series. Because th this is, this is per a perfect. This is this is comic book fun at its at its finest. It's it's perfect. Like two rules of comic books is um, have the story be at least interesting and have the character have at least one like epic moment in every comic book. Um, Hawkman has several epic moments in this comic book, and. The, the storyline is just, just epic on itself. Um, yeah, really good. Recommend you pick up Hawkman. If you haven't read the first issue, go read it and pick up this as well. It's really good. Um, so that was Hawkman number two. I hope you enjoyed this this kind of review. I prefer doing the, the longer videos. Um, that's why I went back to them. 
I haven't done anything like this for a while. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments below. Do you prefer the longer, like, hour-long videos, or do you prefer it to be, like, a, a ten-minute video on the individual comments? Um, so, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, um, check out the Patreon. You'll be helping me fund the channel and all other, uh, all other lovely stuff that I may do in the future. Um, yeah. See you when I see you. Peace.